3DO. Well, I had to do it. So here it is. They came from the depths of the void. An ancient enemy of an ancient people. No one knows why they hate us so, or why they have made war upon us. Some say the struggle against their evil is the mandate of heaven. Though their origins and purpose are shrouded in mystery, their plan is simple. They travel, they land, and then they conquer. Now, they are here on our world to do to us what they have done to so many others. And they will do it, unless someone stops them. I find this part a little bit weird because you see there's a rogue there, but there's no rogue class in the game. And there's also no dragon that's hanging out with the devils in this game from what I remember, so that's kind of weird too. before you can deal with the likes of those monsters. Since the arrival of the devils, foul creatures and evil <coughs> spirits have appeared throughout the land. These signs and omens can have but one. Oh, that that late 90s that CG, man. Is part of the it was late 90s, right? Yeah, this was after, after or during Heroes 3? Uh, does it say? It doesn't say when. I forgot when this was made. But anyway, um, this is like... I think this was right... No, it was right before Heroes of Might and Magic 3, I think. I got this game when it first came out. I played it a little bit, and then I'm like, these graphics are terrible. I can't play this game. And then uh, I was playing a, a game versus someone in Heroes 3, and he mentioned this game, and he's like, yeah, here's a Might, or Might Magic 6. That's a great game. And I'm like, well, you know, I tried a little bit of it, and I just couldn't get past the crappy graphics. <clears throat> and he's like, well, man... It's a great game. I mean, sure, it doesn't have the greatest ga graphics, but you should try it again because it's uh, the gameplay is really awesome. So, sur sure enough, I did try it again, and uh, the gameplay was really awesome, and it was became one of my favorite games ever. Um, I know this game pretty much inside and out, and uh, it was really kind of begging for a playthrough. Um, probably, I mean, I've got a ton of other you know videos I need to do I'm kind of backed up right now because I'm I'm working again really a lot so don't have a lot of time at all but I'm gonna to try to squeeze this one in so how I'm gonna play this game is probably I mean you've got you've got playthroughs that are like speed runs and you got playthroughs that are just kind of like normal let's play through the game kind of playthrough um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a kind of a different category here um, I'm gonna do like a, um, it's kind of a power gaming playthrough. I'm gonna get a, one character to really, really high level, and then I'm just gonna blow through like as many of the dungeons as I can. I'm gonna try to do all the dungeons, maybe not all of them. I might, I might forget a few, but uh, I'm gonna try to do all of them. Um, so that's kind of the category this playthrough will be in. It's kind of my own personal style of play, more or less, kind of a power gaming, min maxing type playthrough. <clears throat> so, let's get started. I would How also say that. Death well, let me of let me shut up here while you, you can find yourself hear this. As far from your village of Sweetwater as old Falagar's magic could take you. Three years have passed while Falagar imparted what knowledge he could to train you in your chosen professions. 
But the time came at last when he could teach you no more, and you have ventured into the world to seek your fame and fortune. Now, a world away from your lost home, you have stumbled across evidence of a terrible conspiracy involving a new religious cult. Five letters from King Roland to his wife Catherine, and a letter from the King of the Devils to a wicked traitor named Solman, have turned up in an abandoned goblin camp. Your fate seems inextricably bound to these letters and that awful night, and your role in the events to come may be larger than anyone could imagine. The tools you have are but a small sum of gold, your wits, and a lot of potential. The roads ahead are infinite, and all the choices are yours to make. So choose wisely. Good luck. All right, there you go. So, um, yeah, what was he saying? Oh, I was going to mention, um, okay, this is, this is like the transition of might and magic from the old, like, DOS-based, uh, you know, 320 by 240... Was it 320, 320 by 200, low resolution type, uh, you know, turn-based movement to real-time 3D movement. They built their own engine, as you can see. <clears throat> Not very good, but, you know, we got the job done. Uh, but I think this is probably the best of the three series, you know, the Might Magic 6, Might Magic 7, Might Magic 8. Um, those three both use the same engine and uh, are kind of in their own category together. And I think Might Magic 6 is the best of those three <clears throat> because it allows you a lot more freedom. Uh, yeah, definitely. A, well, I don't know. You could you could argue eight's pretty pretty you know open ended, but uh, um, definitely a lot more freedom, especially with like the character classes. They really do uh, limit your character classes in the the next two uh, um, or your your skills for your character class in the next two. Uh, following installments um, and actually nine too they did that but this one's like any skill you can learn you can uh, expert in go to go to expert in so there's really no difference between like the character classes except there's just a few that are limited to certain classes like uh, you know the paladin and the knight and the archer they're fighting classes technically but they can't learn well, Knight obviously can't learn any magic, but uh, Paladin and Archer can learn uh, all the like uh, all the all the different magic skills except for light and dark, and you know the other classes like the casting classes can't learn all the weapon skills, and so that, there's there's a little bit of that, but it's it's otherwise like it's very very liberal with it. Um, you know, giving everybody like access to all the skills and the expert levels of all the skills. <clears throat> in the um, following uh, Might and Magic series uh, installments, like seven and eight, they don't do that. They really tighten up like what classes can learn, what skills, and what level they can learn those these skills. And I I really don't like that with, with how they did that. So <clears throat> I like that about this one. Very you know. Uh, gives you access to just about everything, lets you go just about anywhere at any time, um, with just a couple of exceptions. Uh, it's big. It's way, way bigger than six and or seven and eight. Seven and it's like it's they shrink. Like seven is smaller than six, and eight is smaller than both of them. <clears throat> I guess that was like a time constraint or something like that. Seven's still okay in terms of its content size, but nothing matches six. Six is just huge. It's got like huge dungeons and just the world is huge. I mean, seven and eight are just tiny in comparison to six. <clears throat> so that's one of the reasons why six is, is my favorite. Um, still, I do like things about seven and eight. I, I like... Uh, I think they fixed some of the spells. There was a real problem with uh, in six where it seems like everything resisted um, magic damage. So you have like what are supposed to be really powerful spells like Armageddon, and like uh, at least a good third of the monsters resist it. <laughs> it's kind of irritating. Um, 
and uh, the clerics damage spells because they're all magic damage. They're you know they're completely useless almost. So stuff like that, I I do like how they fix that in seven and eight, but I think six still overall six is the best. Um. Anyway, so now what I'm gonna do. This is probably unlike any playthrough you'll see of this game. I'm going to stack all the experience on this guy. And the rest of these guys are just going to be going to kind of be cat and fodder. I'm ready. Pick me. I'm ready. Pick <clears throat> um, me. for a while I might like do something with him later. But for the most part it's, it's this guy I'm going to stack all the experience on and I'm going to get him to I'm going to shoot for I'm going to try to get to level 300 and I I know I can get the experience to get to level 300. I don't know if I can actually get the money to train to 300, that is the that is the thing, and uh, it's really it's it's a limited of uh, how much money you could get as to how high you can train in this game. The experience is 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 um, me. not too hard. Me. Me. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to now. Usually, when people make parties, they make all sorcerers, but um, I. I do recommend having a cleric in your party simply because there's a couple of spells that are really nice to have. One of them is um, telekinesis that comes in handy a lot. You'll see me using that a few times in this playthrough. Um, you know, granted the the healing spells are terribly underpowered. This is another thing they fixed in six and or seven and eight is the the like the power heal and power cure and stuff like that. That's that's a lot more effective and it's actually useful in those versions of the game. But um, and uh, six body magic is is uh, it's a nice idea, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, you get like uh, you heal heal like two hit points per level with power cure. I think it is, and that's. You know, once you have like a thousand hit points, that's woefully slow to try and use. But still, it, it, it still works. There's some like spirit magic spells, you know, cure this or that, cure curse, stuff like that. Um, I, I already mentioned telekinesis with mind magic. Also, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, what is it? You can make the undead flee and you can make uh, monsters flee with mind magic that I think I might be using that in some instances in this game so it, it's definitely useful to have one cleric and it doesn't hurt you at all because the cleric can get light magic and dark magic so she can be or he or she can be very useful that way and you know you still got an, that fourth Armageddon here if you're you're doing the Armageddon thing okay so that's what I'm going to do with my party but this guy is going to be my main guy these guys are gonna probably be killed off fairly quickly I'm actually not going to level these guys deliberately, so they'll die. Like when I'm clearing places with Armageddon, they'll just just they'll just die off immediately to Armageddon. So I'm actually deliberately not going to give them any endurance for that reason, because I want them to die off. So okay, so we're gonna distribute our stat points now. I do want to use them a little bit in some instances, so I want them to have some spell points. So I'm gonna boost their um spell points just a little bit for that reason but everything else is going to be at base level here and I find if you're starting like this you might as well give them air or water uh, those are probably the best things to start with there they're the most expensive to buy And I'm going to just give them generic names here. Except for this guy. I'm going to name this guy Dr. Feelgood. Uh, I like this guy's uh, voice acting. He's probably the best voice actor out of the lot. <clears throat> okay, so this guy, we have a well that gives luck immediately. I definitely want him to have a lot of speed. Accuracy, not so important. Might, not so important. Personality, we can definitely wait on that one. So these guys, I want their intellect to be fairly high and personality. I want them to have a lot of spell points to work with. So I still have some spell points to spare. What should I do? I'm going to do might, I think. The reason I'm going to do might is because... Hold on. The reason I'm going to do might is because there's a well... I don't... There's... um. 
uh, there's an altar that increases your might by 10 for everybody across the board and these guys are at 5 I want to get them all to like 15 before I use it and so I don't want this guy soaking up draws from the well that gives you plus 10 or plus plus 2 might if your might is below 15 so I, I don't know if that makes sense what I just said but uh, you'll see I guess um, see personality accuracy 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 I might want to increase okay I'm min maxing here so this may be a little bit confusing to you but what I'm doing here I guess it, I'll, I'll try to explain it along the way these guys I'm, I'm kind of you know I'm, I'm not increasing their stats because this guy's kind of my main my main guy for my stats but uh, still I do want to get them just because it looks nicer I do want to get them kind of maxed out there as far as they can go so I'm, I'm a big um, I'm really big on speed because uh, you know, it decreases your recovery time that's very important accuracy for somebody who's gonna cast spells is not that important um, you know, personality is not that important for a sorcerer. Intellect is important. Might, not really that important, but it helps a little bit. Endurance is definitely important to give you more hit points. Um, luck. Luck is actually probably pretty important. Actually, instead of might, I should probably have luck, huh? Well, that's all right. I don't care. All right, we're going to start. <clears throat> okay, starting town, new Sorpagol. Immediately we do this. I've done this so many times. I have it basically memorized here. We got to go in here. Come on in. Might as well get the quest. We get the letter and a little money, and that's all we need from there. Immediately I'm going to go. Whoops! There it is. Okay, this is a fly scroll that's hidden in there. And let me go ahead yes. and do this. I'm gonna yes. teach yes. all these guys their default yes. spells that they okay. start with. You could yes. sell these for money, but it's yes. not really necessary. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to get yes. a bunch of money anyway, yes. regardless of what I do here. I am going to abuse a little bit the New World Computing Dungeon. In fact, in, in, and by a little bit, I mean I'm kind of going to abuse it quite a bit. But only in the beginning. You know what? I'm going to turn this music down. I had the sound kind of turned down in in, uh, in Windows, but it still seems to be blaring loud, the music, for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it down a little bit more in the game. Come again. Uh, this game does have, I think, good soothing music and, and even some pretty cool action music. I love the uh, the arena music is, is really good, I think, in my opinion. So I do like their style of music for this game. Thanks. Come again. Okay, and I guess there's no nothing else to do, so I'm gonna just cast that baby now. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention this. I'm using uh, is it uh, Gray Faces Might and Magic Six Patch 2.0, I believe, and I'm also using I'm using another thing that uh, that where I can configure the controls and the only reason I actually I'm using the thing to configure the controls is because um, there's a button you can hit I think it's F4 where if you hit it uh, you'll automatically go into windowed mode and I actually use the the override controls to get rid of that so I didn't actually accidentally press F4 and uh, it knocks me out into into windows I don't like that so um, but I do recommend installing that patch. It fixes a lot of things. So just so you know, that's that's uh, the mod I have. I should mention that in the um, description. I hope I'll remember to do that. And I forgot to do this, of course. Okay, we're going to drink from the well. Get some luck here. Now, how these wells work, <clears throat> and there's... <clears throat> I believe there's a uh, wells a well for every stat except endurance. One of the reasons why on this guy I put endurance at 25. But if your stat, if you have a stat um, that the well increases and that stat is under 15, then it'll increase that stat by two up to uh, 15 or 16, depending on whether you're an, on an odd or even number. So. 
I have uh, there's a st there's a well for might, there's a well for all of these except endurance. And uh, so what I'm doing, but it it only has a limited number of draws. I think it's maybe ten, something like that. No, it's more than that. No, yeah, no, maybe it's ten. But the well um, refills. You know, you you can use it again. I think every two or three days, something like that. So eventually, you know, even if you have the minimum stats on everything, you can eventually get them to at least 15. And uh, I usually do that as a min-maxer, which is kind of how I like to play these games. Um, I usually do that um, before I go and touch, like, the obelisk in here. Which is where I'm going now. I'm going to Dragon Sands. This is uh, another... Uh, secret quote-unquote Easter egg and it immediately warps you to Dragon Sands uh, which is a very advanced map and dangerous as you can see we got a bunch of dragons everywhere there's like a ton of dragons over here um, and if you click on this obelisk then it immediately gives you $20 stats and $20 resistances but you know if you're like I mean if you if you're at like you know say one might and you haven't used the well, then you'll get 21 might. But uh, if you've used the well and you got up to 15, then you'll have 35 might. Big difference. Probably doesn't really matter <laughs> because I'll be casting like, um, eventually I'll be casting like Day of the Gods and stuff like that, which will increase my stats quite a bit. But on the other hand, if you get high enough in stats, it does give you a pretty big boost at the end. Like, I think it's 500 you max out at. And um, that if you get to a stat to 500, the the um, increase in your you know like whatever that stat controls is like a plus five or something like that. So so you know every little bit counts. I'm not sure exactly. I'd have to do the math, but with with like maxed light magic um, and two rings, you know I'm not sure if if it would actually get you to 500 with like a base stat of like say one. So. Um, getting higher stats as high as you can, um, you know, before that buff, I think is is important. So I'm going to, like I said, min max it. I'm not going to hit that yet until I get this guy, uh, all of these as far high as they can possibly go, and that includes using the um, potions. Okay, so all right, so just make sure you run here real quick and hit this wall before you get smashed by a dragon. Um, where okay, this is the New World Computing Dungeon, and it's another kind of Easter egg thing. Um, I'll be abusing this. For most of the game, I'll, I'll be abusing the stat thing. Not, I, Maybe not most of the game. For a while, anyway. I'll abuse this, which is the chest that gives you up to 10,000 gold. I'll abuse this for a while in the beginning, but after the beginning, no, I'll be earning my my money the, the good old-fashioned way. Okay, let me do this here. Let me go ahead and give these, this guy his skill points now so I can clear out a little bit of space. This is nothing I can do about that. So we have a totally free inventory here. I'm going to... This is a potion machine. You click on this and... You pay 50 gold, I think, per potion. Sometimes you get an empty bottle. So I'm just, I've just got my my finger holding down the space bar. So I'm going to buy a bunch of these, and we're going to make some potions here. And this is going to be, it's going to be the first thing I do, basically. Okay, I'm going to mix some essences of intellect first. Blue plus orange plus blue. I have this written down on a piece of paper. I can never remember this stuff. It worked. Blue plus it orange worked. plus Excellent. blue. There it is. Yep. Okay, so now you see this guy's got now 40 intellect. So I pumped it up. But the problem with that is that potion also decreases another stat by 5. And I think in this case it was uh, might. Yep. Decreased might by 5. So they're... Um, but you know when you go all said and done they're uh, they give you about 10 extra in, in each stat so blue plus orange plus blue excellent okay this guy needs that too she doesn't need that actually blue excellent. orange blue and blue okay so she needs personality so what's the recipe for that let's see green plus purple plus blue is what it says it worked! It worked! It worked! There it is. That should be it, right? Yep. 
Okay, so that gives all these guys a little bit more intellect. And that means their spell point, the spell points that they have access to is a little bit better. That's actually important because at level 1 they have 67 spell points. And that means they can cast a couple of high level spells. That's pretty important. Actually, wait, well, never mind. I'm forgetting about that uh, Dia of the Gods there. So, well, maybe, I don't know. They probably at least have 30 spell points, which is enough. Um, so, let's see here. I'm going to get, okay, Essence of Endurance, green plus orange plus yellow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. Let me save for Sometimes I mix these wrong and I blow myself up. Uh, green plus orange plus yellow, right? Okay, green. It worked. Plus it orange. Worked. Excellent. Plus Excellent. yellow. There it is. Okay, this is the only guy I'm going to give that to. Because these guys I don't want to have high endurance because I don't want them to survive when I do something like cast Armageddon or something. I want them to go die. So, um, alright. Let's go ahead and mix an essence of speed since I got speed up there. And might. Let's go ahead and do speed and might real quick. Speed. Red plus green plus yellow. Is that right? Or is it green plus yellow plus red? It might be green plus yellow plus red, I'm guessing. Green Excellent. plus... Oh, not a lot of yellows, are we? Green plus it yellow worked. plus Success. red. And there it is. Okay, cool. Got that speed boost there. And that decreased, what, personality even more? <laughs> okay. Um, essence of... What am I doing now? Might. Okay. Red plus orange plus red. Red plus orange plus red. Red. It worked. Plus orange it worked. plus red. There it is. Okay. So that also decreased my intellect by a little bit, unfortunately. But there's nothing you can do about that. That's okay. I'll get plenty of boost to that later. So we're still looking for... We've got to boost up personality and accuracy. All right, that's okay. So that's basically all I can do for this guy. The other guys I don't really care about right now. Maybe don't care about at all. So now I have a couple other things that I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to need the potion that increases your level temporarily by 20. So that's a huge help in the, in the beginning when you're only level 1. So orange plus yellow plus purple. And although I don't worry too much about... Uh, game time on this map. Game time, by the way, influences your score. The lower your your game time, the higher your score. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Although I won't, don't want to um, needlessly increase the amount of time I play this uh, this game in game time because I don't want you know some kind of a good score. So um, I'm kind of playing a little bit on the on the um, quicker side in terms of game time. Although I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, okay, so orange plus yellow plus purple. Orange it plus yellow Success. plus purple. It Success. There it is. Divine power. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use that now. We're going to mix. Uh, we're going to mix one for all these guys. Orange Success. plus yellow it it plus Success. purple. There it is. Yeah. Orange plus yellow plus purple. Orange. Success. Yellow. Success. Success. Purple. Orange. Do we still have enough? I don't think we do. Let's go over here. Orange, it it yellow, worked. it worked. Purple. I okay. So now what do we got? Let's do one more because I might need one more. I usually don't, but you never know. Purple. Let's see. It's orange, it yellow, and purple. Okay. Just in case, sometimes it comes in handy to use one of these. I don't know. I just, hopefully, I, if I play right, I shouldn't need one more. Because um, I'll have a well that'll give plus 30 to everybody. Uh, let's see here. Now, what do we need? Okay, we definitely need... Okay, let's get one, um, one health potion, one mega health potion here. Green plus purple plus orange. Okay, first let's save because, like I said, there's a small chance I might screw it up and blow myself up. Uh, green plus purple plus orange, right? Okay. Green plus purple. Lots of blues in these. It worked. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Divine Cure. Adds 100 hit points if we're at or below maximum and adds one year of age. Okay, that's um, that's 
that might be important at some point. You know, I might need to, to heal myself for a lot at some point. Uh, it's, it's kind of rare, but it does happen. So I'm only going to get one of those. But what I'm going to get a lot of now is I'm going to try to get a lot of um, magic points plus 100 uh, potions. Blue plus green plus green. Man, so many blues needed. Blue it worked. plus green. I hate this. I hate the fact that you need so many blues, and it just seems like the machine doesn't give you that many blues or yellows. It always gives you a bunch of reds. Yeah. Okay, just throw them away. This is really the fastest way to get get rid of these potions in your inventory is just to sell them. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, okay, so let's see what it is it again. I keep forgetting. Green plus no, no, that's not it. Blue plus green plus green. Okay, here we go. Blue plus green. Success. Plus Success. green. There it is. Divine magic. Okay. Spell points plus a hundred. If at or below maximum. Or if, no, if below maximum. Okay, green, uh, yeah, what the freaking, green plus blue plus green, right? Man, so many blues required. Success. It worked. Success. It worked. Three freaking blues apiece, my god. Green. Success. This guy didn't have any yellow now. Plus blue. Plus green. It worked. Success. Okay, I'm going to buy a few more. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to give give these to her. This guy's full of like red potions. Red potions are the most useless. It's his green and uh or yellow and particularly blue that you want. So it's like maybe we got enough here. Let's see. Green this should work. plus blue Success. plus this green. This should work. Okay. It green worked. plus blue Success. plus it green. Worked. Okay. Green plus blue plus it green. Worked. Okay. Got it. All right. So that's probably. I mean, I'm going to be using a lot of those things at one point for a particular reason. I'm going to be, I'm going to be Armageddoning everything in sight here. And so while I'm at it, I might as well get some more. So what I'm going to do. Um, first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to sell all these bottles because they're cluttering up my inventory right now. So I'm going to have to make one more run for this. Oops. Hello. Okay. But that's all right. This is more of a time-saving thing uh, more than uh, like something you have to do to actually do what I'm doing here. It's... It's more about time. You could go around and just collect a bunch of, you know, herbs and stuff and mix your own potions, but it's kind of, it's just like, ah, nah, it sucks. It's not worth the time. Okay, there's a town Hello. portal lady here. Okay, I'm going to go... New circle, right? Yeah. Have a look around. Okay, this guy just this is just to get rid of these stupid things, because it's the only way to do it. Fast. Unless somebody knows of a way to do it faster. I don't think I think this is the fastest way to do it. It's kind of irritating to do too. A lot of clicking. Other than that, I guess you could make a script to do it or something and auto it. Ouch. My foot's falling asleep. <laughs> I'm sitting on my foot. That's it. I guess that's it. Nope, nope. We got a little more. I'm actually going to save these yellow ones. Let's save the yellow ones here. Just curious as to see what he's got. Yeah, he's got a few yellow ones. I'll take those. Thank you. Take those off him. It worked. Success. All right, let's go back. Going to do that deed one more time there, and that should be enough. 
Ooh, he tried to get me, didn't he? Yeah, basically this is like an Easter egg, this dungeon here, and you can go around and uh, uh, there's peasants um, to represent the employees at New World Computing at this time. Which I guess had a lot of uh, employees. It's quite a few people. That's like 50 people at least, I think. So New World Computing was a fairly big company at that time. Okay, green. Excellent. Plus Excellent. blue. Plus it green. It worked. Yeah, I'll give that to her. Green. Excellent. Plus blue. Excellent. Excellent. Plus Excellent. green. Green. Plus blue. And I need another blue. Success. It worked. Okay. Green Success. plus Success. blue. It worked. Success. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot it of these worked. potions I can see. It worked. Success. It worked. Success. Success. Pass it on down. Success. It worked. It worked. Success. It worked. Success. Okay, I think, um, well, let's see, we're here. We got a lot of these now here. Divine magic, they're all divine. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, that's enough, I think. I don't really think we need too many more of those. He's even got got a couple, too. Plus, so we've got that. We don't need that, though. We probably will never need that if we play right. Um, I'm going to get a few more of the healing potions, though. It worked. This should work. This should work. It worked. Okay, let's see if we can get one more healing. Eh, a couple more healing potions. Those might come in handy now that I'm thinking about it. Green plus purple plus orange. Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Green. It worked. Plus purple it still worked. uses a lot of blue. Success. It worked. Green it worked. plus purple plus orange. It worked. It worked. All right, now that, I think, within any reasonable game here. That's going to be enough. All right, so we're done with that. We're done abusing that for now. Actually, we're done abusing that for the whole game, I think. Although when these guys get uh, when these guys get their stats up, I might I might use potions on them too. It just depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Let's get out of here. Let's go back. Let's see. Do we have to go back to town? Where do we, where do we need to go right now? Uh, let's see here. I think... I think we don't have to really... No, we need to just go pick up the chests now. That's all we need to do. I think we need to do anything else, right? Hold on, just a quick think. I don't think we need to do anything else but just pick up the chests now. So we're actually done. That mean that means we're done uh, taking gold out of that chest in the New World Computing Dungeon. Because uh, from now on, we're going to earn our gold here. I think just, uh, you know, short use of that chest is, is acceptable, I think, in my opinion. Just don't overdo it. I mean, if you wanted to, you could... Uh, since you can, you're limited to ten thousand. Whoops! Oh my God! Really? There we go. Oh. What I'm doing right now is I'm I'm triggering that trap. Since I don't have a disarm trap high enough to to um, disarm that chest, I'm just triggering the trap and then flying up while the um, the animation happens. And if if it's not electricity trap, then you can you can fly up before it hits you. So that's what I'm doing there. Oh, I just forgot. Okay, now oh, stupid me. <laughs> okay, well let's put that freaking thing back. Okay, I knew I had to do something. Yeah, I got to go freaking. Okay, that was stupid. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, I have a um, inventory full of potions, and so I, I can't actually pick anything up right now. But that's okay. We can fix that in a really quick. Greetings and salutations. Okay. Have a look around. Let's get rid of this. What was I seeing? I was seeing something. Totally forgot. God. Alzheimer's already. 
I'll think of it again. Anyway, I'm going to go get uh, grab the high-level chests in Dragon Sand there. There's a chance, of course, of them having a nice artifact in there. I'm not going to hope for that. I'm just going to hope for stuff I can sell for a good price. And that's actually how I'm going to get my money from now on, is I'm going to loot it. So no more... Oh, yeah, I know what I was talking about. I was uh, going to mention the fact that um, if you really wanted to be cheap, you could set a uh, Lloyd's Beacon at that chest in the New World, Com New World Computing Dungeon, and you could set a Lloyd's Beacon at a bank... Then you could just go back and forth and uh, you know grab 10,000 from that chest and then put it in the bank, grab another 10,000, put it in the bank. I've done that before. You can get you know any Great. amount of money you want at that point. Um, there are other ways to get an infinite money, though, in this game. I might, depending on what happens later on, I might actually abuse one of those a little bit. Probably not too much. All right, well, you know, I should have healed, huh? Silly. <laughs> okay, so I definitely can't... I can't afford to get hit one time. I got hit. Wow. Well, you know what? Shouldn't get hit. If you're smart, you won't get hit by these guys. Oh, God. Well, apparently I'm not that smart, and I just got killed. And I actually just um, ended up uh, crashing the game somehow, too. That's interesting. Where's my pen? I don't have a pen. Let's write down. Okay, well, here's here's how you should do it. You fly high enough, and you kind of alter your altitude. Oh, you still got me, you bastards. Okay, well, never mind. I don't care if she dies. Yeah, the idea, well, which, what you'll see here is you, you alter your altitude, and they'll shoot down at you, and then you fly up. This is what I'm going to do here. <laughs> I'm so bad at this all of a sudden. Oh, my God. Okay, Okay. I swear to God, I'm usually good at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't hit the button fast enough. Oh. Okay. This is sad. This is freaking sad. All right, let me try this again. Let me try the approach again. Okay, there we go. Did it! Jeez, I was just ashamed of that. That was so bad. Okay, it could have like a factor in here. I have this uh, banker because when you pick up gold, uh, he does take a certain percentage of it, but he also gives you a little bit more of a percentage, so it ends up to be like an extra 10% or something like that. Um, I could, you know, if I went to... I could hire a factor to... I didn't want to go through the trouble of doing that. Actually, there I don't think you... Yeah, where, where could I hire... Well, I could uh, I could have reloaded, like, one of the peasants to be a factor. I don't know, but... I don't know. It's probably not worth it in this case. But this guy does up my gold that I get from these chests just a little bit, which is worth it, in my opinion. Oh, you mothers. Okay, there you go. See? I'm just perfectly fine. Sometimes you need to reload some. Oh, and then you did the electricity chest thing. Jerks. All right, well, that's all right. I don't know. I don't know. By the way, you can get away with this crap in all the Might Magic uh, games. All, all three games from this same series here. All right, so I didn't get anything special, didn't look like, but at least I got some money. I'm not doing too bad on money. That's a pretty good haul. I've still got three more chests to go. Here's one. There's five chests total, I think, yeah. Well, if you want to count the obelisk treasure, then there's six, but uh, five that you can immediately get. Oh, okay, this one was already open, that's right. I don't know. All right, I can't. I need to, what I'll do is I'll hire a scholar to identify those. Okay, and there's another one down here. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, one of these chests that I'm getting, either here or in Blackshire, will uh, give me a nice artifact. That would be so cool. Not necessary, but sure would be cool. I think I'm standing on it. Yeah. There it is. Oh. 
No, it doesn't look like anything special, unfortunately. No artifacts, no relics. Okay. Uh, it's not here, is it? No, it's no, it's up here. This is the one. Each one of the little islands has a chest here. This one is over up here. And, okay, I'm going to save here. This one's kind of hard to figure out where you are. Okay, perfect. Oh! oh, this looks good. I don't know. Nice looking stuff here. Yeah, this uh, this was a pretty good haul in terms of money. This will this will sell for a lot. And always open it again because if it's stuffed full like that, uh, well, anyway, with the patch I have, um, if it's stuffed full like that and there's no room for all the stuff, then you can open it more than once to get all the stuff. So, you know, once you clear out some space. For it to spawn in, you open it again, and they'll, they'll uh, whatever whatever's left will appear there. Uh, that's one of the reasons why you should have that patch. Um, I believe it's called Sergey Sergey's Might Magic Six Patch or Mox Patch, Grayface's Patch. I don't know, something like that. Grayface's Might Magic Six Patch, I believe it's called Might Magic Six 2.0 is what I'm using. Uh, just in case you didn't hear me the first time. So now I'm going to go. I'm I'm going to have to resurrect these characters, unfortunately, which means I'm going to have to make a stupid detour. But that's actually I'm going to have to make this detour anyway, so that's all right. I can I can live with that. I'm going to go back to New Sorkvogel, and the thing is now I have to. Well, first of all, I have to freaking res these guys. Unfortunately, it's going to cost me a little money to do so. Ah, uh, 50 gold is not a big deal, actually. Be with you. Okay, let me see how much I have. I have two hours on my fly spell. Did they get anything broken? Oh, they did. Son I don't of a gun. Okay, I'm going to have to repair that stuff. That's all right. Not a big deal. But up here, there's a scholar guy. And I'm going to use him to identify all these artifacts here. Or all these, not artifacts, but all these items. Actually, that's not even going to hurt me, so I don't care. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to get this stuff real quick. It's not much, but every little bit counts. Actually, not too bad. About a thousand, thousand gold, something like that. And that stuff doesn't hurt me. That's too weak. Um, I have my level pumped up and everything. Very nice. Okay, so I'm I'm identifying everything now that I have that scholar. Hopefully we got something useful. Ah, yeah, nothing really that impressive. Very tell you that. nice. Ah. Mystic bond of implosion oh. that that uh, that can come in handy. I've got a use for that later, actually. Oh. Plus ten to seven statistics. That's not too oh. bad. Oh. Too bad, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna ah. sell it. Supreme axe, oh. killer club. Nothing I can do. Power staff of ice. Oh. <laughs> I love that guy's reaction. Okay, we we saw that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it. Well, nothing really all that crazy good. Unfortunately, did not really float my boat too much. Okay, so all this stuff is going to get sold, looks like. Yeah. That's, that's it for you, Orville. I see that fireball coming at me there. Those dragon towers are irritating. You have to fix them so they don't fire at you but it's not going to be for a while. I'm going to be dodging those things for a long time. Let's go ahead and get healed up a little bit. Can we assist you? Heal here while it's cheap. But we do have some, some good items to sell there. Let me think. Do I need anything else? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to go over down this way. And I'm going to be using this trick for a while as um, I'm going to be grabbing, like, uh, um, uh, companions from this place over here. This place has uh, has the Banker, it has the Windwalker, which will cast Fly for you. It has uh, this lady who will cast Town Portal for you, which is very nice. And we go to Freehaven immediately here. And now that we're at Freehaven, first thing we're going to do 
And I believe we already... F okay, that guy's already... Yeah, up there in might. These guys... See, I got... Uh, I got this guy to 15 in might by drinking from that well right there. Has a few other things really quick I'm going to do. I'm going to get that. Thank you. That, while well, I'm remembering this... Oh, get out of my way. Greetings. Smoke Thank you. Guild. Okay, that was the main thing there. And Greetings. Merchant and Duper is what we want right now. Greetings. Big time. Also want to do this. Definitely want to get to that. I'm going to go get water magic right, right now. Greetings. It all starts with water yes. magic expertise. Okay, what am I doing here? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, let's go... Oh, yeah, first let's go sell this stuff. Don't touch the merchandise. Okay, this guy's an armor smith. He's not going to give me anything for that. Come back soon. Nice. You see, I got quite a bit of money there now. Weapons in the lab. And this money is going to be used to buy me some spells that I really need here. That's not. He's not going to buy that. Always repair this stuff before you sell it. Come again. Yeah, I might be back. Looking for something special? No, nah, not really. She didn't have anything really to buy Thanks, that I need. I, I don't think so, anyway. Okay. Um... I skipped something here. I'm gonna need to do this because I won't be able to get in. I need the membership Hello. to the guilds. Thank you. Greetings and salut. Thank you. Fire membership. Greetings and salut. Fire Thank membership. You. Yep. Hello. This is not okay. This Hello. Is those guys. Thank Earth you. membership. Okay. Just got all the memberships to the all the guilds. And. Hmm, I'm not going to be doing that one quest for a while, so I don't need that. I don't really need Earth Magic. I'm trying to think Rock Blast. Do I need Rock Blast? Do I want to get Rock Blast? I don't know. I don't think I'll get Rock Blast anyway. Let's see. Let's see if they got it. Got it, so I'm going to reload. <laughs> Rock Blast is pretty nice. It's an area of effect spell, but at the same time, it's... Um, mass Distortion is, is just stupid. Okay, really, I don't need anything else. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys learning and stuff like that. Um, but Rock Blast is an area of effect spell that's Good physical show. damage, Good so it show. can't be resisted. There's definitely some use to that. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Let me do this before, I'm, before I run out of money and, and forget about it. Well, actually... I've got to get the memberships to the guilds over here, so I've got to go over here first anyway. Let's go over here. Okay, definitely, definitely, definitely fly. Fly. Okay, come on. Give me something better than that. Implosion, fly, starboard. Okay, that's that's the trifecta right there. You want that. Shield and jump. We absolutely have to have jump. Oh, my God, we don't have jump. Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. Okay, we do have jump. Okay, so we got jump. We need to jump. Shield. I think shield, maybe. And that's it. Okay, Sparks. I'll take Sparks, too. Thank you very much. Okay. This guy is going to be really Good our show. only character, so I'm going to give it yes. all to him. Okay. Yes. Okay, that was pretty good. We we just blew through 20,000, though, so we got to be aware of that. Um, Fire. I think fire. I might want something Magical from Fire, destruction. maybe. Meteor Shower is not a bad thing to have. Incinerate. Not really. Not unless you have higher Fire Magic. Is that going to be useful? Uh, well, actually, no Inferno? Well, you know what? I don't know, no Inferno, no Fireball? Let me reload. Fire. The magic of Ring of Fire, yeah, so what? Fire. The 
magic of this There's world. fireball. Meteor shower. Meteor shower, maybe. Uh, it seems like fire blast. Fire blast is actually decent. Haste. I don't really have much use for haste. Okay. I'm gonna use a, if I'm going to use haste, okay. I'm going to use a potion Good of haste. Good show. That's where it's at, at least for a while. Greetings, okay, and body guild. Hello, spirit guild. Greetings and salutations. Mind guild. Water guild, very important. Very, very important. Very important. Water, magic of okay, we're going to get Town Portal and we're going to get uh, Lloyd's Beacon. I'm going to get more than one Lloyd's Beacon. I want uh, some of, one of these guys to have Lloyd's Beacon besides my main guy. Town Portal, there we go. Okay, there it is. Ice Blast. Now, uh, Ice Blast. Enchant item. Yeah, that has some use. Poison Spray. Ice Bolt. Okay, both of those have some use. We're going to use both of those. Okay, so Good this show. guy, yes. again, we're going yes. to go ahead and stack up on this guy. I'm going to give this okay. guy Lo Lloyd's Beacon also, because I might have um, him put down a Lloyd's Beacon, hour-long Lloyd's Beacon in, in some point. Um, and I'm already running low on money. I need to get telekinesis. What the hell happened there? Okay, definitely need meditation. Let's see if we got what we need here. Telekinesis, we got telekinesis. Do we have the thing that makes mass fear? There we are. And meditation. I'll grab meditation for everybody. I'm already lo running low on money, but I have another place to loot, so. Okay. Okay. And one more thing I'm going to want to get here real quick. Turn undead. If they got it. The magic of life. I know they got it. No, 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 I'm turning dead, come on. Where is it? Spirit, the magic of life. Spirit, the magic of life. Now oh, there it is, turn undead. Okay. Yes. Alright, that's going to come in handy too. In a particular dungeon. Which I'm not to yet. Okay, so... Now... All right, so now I think I'm going to go to Blackshire. First things first, we're going to go ahead and put a Lloyd's Beacon down. Right freaking here. This is going to be my lifeline for quite a while. So, all right, let me see here. I'm trying to think. I need to go back to... Greetings! I'm going to go back here. There's a reason I'm going to do that. Number one being this thing. Can we assist you? It's the cheapest place you. to heal up. What was that like? Oof, I'm going to need to, yeah, I'm going to need to hire another one of those. Yeah. My fly is running low here. 16 minutes. I'll make it, though. Yeah, no problem. We'll make it. Hello. Hello. Just barely enough to pull it off, but we're going to pull Hello? it off. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to Blackshire now. They have a bunch of chests over here. Um, oh yeah, let's not forget this. Okay, I'm probably going to do air magic next. Get uh, expert air magic. And, not only do we have that, we also have a factor there, which will, which will increase the, the amount of money we get from these chests even more. Would be a good idea to do this since I have one slot available. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and this is where telekinesis comes in handy a little bit. 
See that? It disarms the chest. There's even some chests that you can't get without telekinesis, by the way. But I say, you know, it's crazy not to have a telekinesis user in your party. Crazy. Okay, this one's not a big deal, so I'm just going to go do one of these here. Okay, even if it does hurt me, hit me, I probably will survive anyway. Because uh -oh. of my high level right now. Know. Damn. I was hoping for I was hoping for an artifact there. That's all right. We'll get we'll get access to the artifacts I need for sure eventually, but it would be nice to find them a little early. Oh, what the heck? I hit the wrong button there. Oh, you might be asking why I'm not using like the mouse look and stuff, and that's because I'm just not used to it. Um I think uh oh. Grayface's latest Might Magic 6 patch has the option for like mouse look and stuff like that. I'm just not used to controlling this game that way. That's why I'm doing it this way. I'm better, probably better this way than I would be the other way because I'm just because I'm more used to it. 2:39 p.m. You can see we're already starting to get our money back here, and I will. This, this reminds me, did I actually visit that oracle in Dragon Sands? I totally forgot. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I've visited two oracles. This is the third. We're going to have to earn uh, ob oracles. Obelisks. Yeah, we're going to have to visit all the obelisks here. Unfortunately, you can't get this one with a telekinesis, I don't think. It'd be nice if you could trigger these with a telekinesis and I wouldn't have to go all the way in here into dangerous harm's way here. Now, it says there's a range to telekinesis, but I think that's just wrong because I've, at, at level one with no skill points in, in mind magic, I'm able to reach all the way across the map and touch anything I want with telekinesis, so so don't go believing that the spell description there. I think it has a spell description, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and get back to Blackshire. Yeah, strength of effect is one point per skill. That's bullcrap. Strength of effect is unlimited, no matter what your skill points are, as far as I've seen. Maybe maybe they fixed that in the, like, Mike Magic 7 or something. All right, so uh, we just got a bunch of money. Flush with money again. We don't actually need any more money to buy um, spells for now. I think we got what we need. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got really everything I need. I could have gotten like uh, acid, uh, acid splash or something like that, but unfortunately I didn't. But that's all right. We don't really need that. It's not a big deal right now. So let's see here. Um, now I think what we're going to start doing. I'm looking over my list here. Um, probably want to start doing some quests now is what I want to start doing. Want to get to Bootleg Bay would be one of the things I want to do. So let's get rid of these guys. We don't need these guys now. We definitely need to get back to... I'm going to go back to New Sorcerable first because I'm going to get some more spell points. Then we definitely want to go back to Freehaven, hire a merchant duper and sell, sell the crap that we just... Got. Oh, wait a minute. I should identify that crap. Do I want to go back to... Let me go back to New Sorpical and do the Identify crap with this guy. It's a minor detour here, but I think it's worth it. 2 for 3 p.m. Okay, so we got about an hour before uh, the Artifacts place closes, or the like miscellaneous place where you can sell the miscellaneous stuff closes. Hello! You can even do that. You can do anything with the... Uh, with um, telekinesis, uh -huh. it's amazing. Okay, this is not particularly useful. That sucks. That sucks, man. Spell points plus 17. Well, that's not a bad idea. Oh, there we are. Well, there. 
that's the closest I've got to something like that, but I don't want to wear that because that, that'll slow down, that'll increase my recovery time like crazy. Can we assist you? Okay, so we're going back to the Free Haven. Now we're going to get the Merchant and the Duper. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? That might have been excessive, but... <laughs> okay, I'm going to get this place before Looking it closes. For special. There is a slim possibility she might have something that I need. I'm going to check it. No. Thanks. Come okay. again. So, all the rest of this stuff. Don't touch the merchant. We do need to get something. We need to get something called Armageddon. A very important spell to get. Come back soon. Finest weapons in the land. Come again. Yeah, that's it. Okay, this is a quest item. I'm gonna put this on her. What do you need? Oh, that will be useful. Yeah, um, I don't want to get. Yeah, I don't want to get none of this stuff. No, I don't want to get any of this stuff for these guys. I don't want to make them any stronger. All right, so now we're going to do some quests here. And let's see here. All right, we're going to start with the nomination from Chadwick. Oh, you know what? Really, I need. I'm going to do that. And we're going to go get some air magic expertise here. That way I can cast fly. That way I don't have to rely on, like, hiring people Hello. to cast fly for me. Good I can show. cast it myself. 45 seconds. Yeah, it's not going to be too long. I'm going to cast it. Yeah, it'll be about the same. 45, 45 minutes or so. 45, yeah. That's about the level I'll cast it at. So, I could probably get rid of these guys. Um, let's see here. You know what? I almost might as well just get a Pathfinder. And go to Bootleg Bay now. I'm gonna find a Pathfinder. This is the this is probably the only time in the game I will ever hire somebody by reloading peasants, and so you don't have to worry. You only have to um, suffer through this one time. Let's see if I can find a Pathfinder. Eventually. Eventually, I'll have to show up, right? Sometimes this can be really tedious, and this is why I don't like to do it. And I'll only do it this one time, and after that I shouldn't have to do it ever again. Because everybody else you can find, well, once you get to once you get to the right places um, on the in the game, then you can find everybody through just going to a certain house, and you can hire just everybody anybody you want. Oh, looks like they're going to be a jerk about it, aren't they? All right, well, I, I do have other stuff to do, so I'm going to go... Greetings and salutations! I'm going to go to White Cap. Or actually, let's go to Silver Cove. There's a couple of things I have to do here, too. Mm. You'll have to sign up first. Oh, I'm not signed up? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Greetings. This guy, some one of these guys has it. Maybe it's this guy. Greetings. No, it's not this guy. Greetings. Hello. I got it. Always forget where Hello. who has the uh, the membership. Hello. I guess. Oh, there's a tracker right here. I didn't know that. Greetings oh, and salutations. Wow. Really? There's a tracker? Hello. I think there's a tracker, but there's no Pathfinder until you get to... Uh, t -t 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 there's this one location that has a path. You can hire a Pathfinder. Nobody here. What the heck, dude? Hello. Come on. 
You guys are wasting my time. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Good Lord, where is that guy? Greetings. Greetings. Horseman. Greetings. There it is. Oh, that's Thank protective you. services. Never mind. Okay, well, I don't know where that guy. Salutations. Don't know where you're supposed to sign up for that crap. Hello. I got it. I guess. Hello. Greetings and salutations. All right. Well, whatever. Not important. Okay, there's a few places where I can get some chests, some free chests in here. I'm gonna get rid of this guy, and I'm not gonna bother to go hire people to to open the chests. It's not a big deal. Um. Yeah, see, now i got 40 minutes of fly. That's plenty. I do need to get some more spell point. There's the, there's the place right there. Can we assist you? No, that was the wrong guy. Not be with you. And I, I might as well go visit the obelisk, too, I guess. So there's some, uh, there's some free, um, free chests you can get over here. 416. Okay, so it's not too late. Uh, somewhere over here there's a chest. Is it over here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over here. Right in the middle of a packet. Yeah, there's one. There it is. There's two of them, actually. <laughs> These druids don't hurt too bad, but, you know, I don't care to get hit by them either. They can cause you problems if you're not careful. <laughs> what kind of bull crap? I thought I'd pull a fast one there, but that didn't work. Uh, nothing really spectacular in here from what I remember. And I do believe there is another chest somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it is. Oh, looky that! Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the sword from the stone here. This is this is not this is not Excalibur, which you can get in eel infested islands, but it is you know you can sell it for something. All right, so I, I seem to remember like going down here somewhere was another chest, and I forgot quite where it was. It's like somewhere down here, something like that. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa! Oh no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh well. <laughs> oh, that sucked. We are. Where are we? Okay, yeah, we. That's right. We were looking for that other chest. That was stupid. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start casting. Thank you very much. I saw that crap. Okay, where was that chest? I think it I think it was down here. This looks familiar. There it is. Let's see if I still got another. Yeah, there we are, bro. These gargoyles, I hate these gargoyles. They have a chance to actually stone you, which is just as good as killing you basically unless you can heal yourself. Yeah, looking at this stuff thinking this stuff is probably worthless. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, these do something, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, wait. I, no, that's not gonna work. I said I'm gonna town portal there, but that's not gonna work. Okay, now I'm gonna go try and hit the obelisk, just because I'm trying to do that. Yeah. I'm trying to do that for every place while I'm thinking about it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, uh, just in case you don't know, these depend... That was actually a pretty good sword. These depend on uh, your strength stat. If you're strong enough, you can pull them out. And because I have augmented strength with that, that Day of the Gods thing I got in um, in the New World Computing Dungeon, then I can, I can do that. But these aren't... Eventually, if you pull the right one, you can get Excalibur. But that's not until we get to Eel Infested Island, which uh, we might not get to for a little while. Okay, this is... I hate this one because it's guarded by these guys, and these guys are annoying and they can fly. 
see if I can get it right. Oh, yeah, I'm in the thing. Yeah, that's, that works. Oh, okay. All right, good. We got away with it. Let me get back to town here. Actually, I don't need to go back to town. I don't think I need anything more from this place for a while. Do I? Oh yeah, I do. Ah, I forgot to hit the wells, that's right. There's so much to rem remember to do here. And it's easy to forget stuff. I mean, I got like tons to do in each town. Uh, here they are. Okay, so we got one that gives accuracy, and we got one that gives speed. Uh, this guy's maxed out on speed already, so uh, I'd give the speed to the other guys. Okay, this guy just got okay. Got my got my accuracy maxed out now, and okay, I'm gonna get the rest. Leave the rest on this guy here. Let's see if I can get over here real quick. Okay. That guy doesn't need any speed. These guys do. Okay, are these guys all maxed out on speed? Nope, not quite. Okay, this guy and this guy. Now I need to get personality, but I gotta get to Bootleg Bay to get that. I'm going to Bootleg Bay in a minute, though. Not exactly right now. Let me see how full my inventory is yet. Alright, well, it's kind of full. Oh, I should have made I should have made potions for uh, for the other stats: the luck, personality, and accuracy. I should have made that. I forgot. You always forget something when you're playing this game. All right, so let's see here. I've got everything I need from this place, really, for now. Did I get uh, I did get the horseshoes, or I didn't? I probably didn't. I'm guessing I didn't. Nope. See what I mean? See what I mean? Yep, I didn't get it. That was stupid. Alright. That's okay. I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, a little bit of food there. I'm gonna try and get my Pathfinder, maybe. Tracker. Let's see, what do I need to do next? I think I probably... I do want to go to Bootleg Bay, is what I want to do next, really. That's actually my main thing, so... Let me see if I can get that Pathfinder. You bastards. You would do this to me, wouldn't you? You're gonna give me everything but a Pathfinder. Now, you could, you could argue that I don't really need to save time, it's not a big deal, but... The thing is, is that I want to go to Bootleg Bay um, the 3rd, so Wednesday, I believe. What are we at? Yeah, 3rd. I want to go to Bootleg Bay the 3rd. It's not like I have to do that. I don't really have to go to Bootleg Bay for a long time, but I'd like to do it now. Yeah, the, the boat only arrives every so often, so... I mean, I think it's every Wednesday or something like that. I want to go ahead and do that now. Or not, it's not Bootleg Bay, it's, um, Eel Infested Islands was what I wanted to do. So, I mean, I'm not going to waste time on purpose as far as game time goes. But on the other hand, this is, this is actually wasting a lot of real time, isn't it? Uh, and they're just not cooperating. It's like, come on, they're going to give me everything but, this happens sometimes, they want to give you everything but what you want. This is really irritating. The problem is their only other way to get a Pathfinder... There's one. Oh my god. Is uh there's a certain map. Hello. That will give you one. Um it that where there's one um waiting actually in the uh Greetings. Yeah, there there we go. Okay, Pathfinder Tracker. Yeah, it's uh I think it's Paradise Valley. There's a Pathfinder in a in a house that you can get. But that's really the only other way. Okay, so we're going to go Don't you dare do that cat. The cat's on my lap and she's just about to like slide down and, and claw into my leg to stop her from sliding down. I hate that. Alright, so okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cross the map over into um, uh, Bootleg Bay which has several things that I need. 
It's only going to take one day because I have a Pathfinder and a Tracker. I cannot resist doing this. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, my God. There's nothing I could do if I die. Oh, okay. I didn't die. Ha! Huh. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking. Yep, I think this is the right thing to do here. Okay, 34, 40. Yep. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cast Fly with this guy. And she can cast one Telekinesis because there's one chest that I could get over here, I believe. Right? Yes? No? Yes, there it is. Okay, it's somewhere over here. Is that it? That's not it. Where is that thing? I know it's over here. There's one over here somewhere. Okay, well, I don't know where it is, apparently. There it is. It was hiding. That's actually not too bad right there. Actually, we don't want these guys suck soaking up our gold there. We don't need these guys anymore. I don't know. Yeah, this looks like crappy stuff probably. But the the gold was pretty good actually. Can we help you? Yeah, I think you can help me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down a Lloyd's Beacon right here. And there's a well in a minute, though. I'm not going to go to that well right now. Okay, no more money. I'm going to go ahead and hit the obelisk over here. And might actually even go here. Whoa! Holy, holy moly. Okay, well, let's be very careful then. Wasn't quite expecting that. I don't dare touch that chest. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back over here. Thank you very much. Looks like I'm going to run out of spell points, bro. I'm going to run on out of spell points. Oh my god. I think I'm dead. There we are. No, I'm not. <laughs> don't have any more spell points. Uh, I don't want to use one of those potions. I'll just walk. This over here has spell points. Okay, so... I'm going to go back to New Sorpical because it's got the, the best rate as far as, like, resing my guys here. be with... Um, okay, I'm going to get, um, oh no, I can't do that yet. Well, uh, what we're going to do is this. We're going to go back here. Greetings. We're going to go to Mist, and we're going to do a really quick quest, because I've already got... I've already got the place where I can go touch the fountain and do this quest. So we're going to go do this quest right now. Oh my god. What is going on, man? Dude. Give me... Give me... Break me. Give me some slack. Oh, I, I need to go... Um, I need to go get Merchant. His Grace, Albert Newton. Marquis of Mist and High Sorcerer of Enroth. Live long and prosper. Oh, wait. May we be of service? Live long and prosper. Okay, that's why I got the Sky Lord's Beacon, by the way. all been here, right? I don't know if all your characters have to drink from it or if only one. I'm going to get rid of these guys right now. These guys are 
<laughs> really irritating. There we go. That solves that problem. I need Oh! His Grace Albert Newton. Nice. Marquis of Miss. Okay, so that helps a lot. And now we've got to go Archmage. There's only one way to do that. I'm not quite ready for that yet. Damn. Damn. I hate being weak, man. That was brutal. Brutal. Oh, this is pretty... No, oh, no, it's double. Okay. All right, so... Now that we have done that, um, a lot of going back and forth in the early game. Yes, I know. It's, it's going to be like this. I'm sorry. Greetings. Uh-oh. I got myself a no pickle, huh? No, I didn't. May we be of service? Okay, we're going back to New Circlical, and the reason I am doing this is because... Oh, God, there it goes again. Well, look who's here. We need this. Wouldn't be without it. I'm going to get it for everybody, Wouldn't too. Wouldn't be without it. Wouldn't be without it. Wouldn't be Merchant without is, it. is the important part there. It. Really important. Okay, now we're going to go... I need to get to Blackshire, too, at some point. I might as well do that. I was thinking maybe I should go to Blackshire and get uh, Armageddon. Yeah, that might be a good idea right now. Since I'm already pretty close to getting to 10, uh, 10 p.m. Well, maybe. Can we assist you? No. Be with you. And then I could even do... No, I couldn't. I was thinking of going to Castle Iron Fist. That's not really possible. You know what? I might actually skip going to... Going to uh, Eel Infested... Um, Eel Infested, whatever it's called. Because I only have a few town portals. I want to save a town portal... Or I would save a Lloyd's Beacon for... Um, uh, Craig Spire. So, I think that's what I might do. Once I get, get to Craig Spire and, and I have that level boost, then I can do... Um, I can do Corlegon's Estate, I think, is it? Whatever, whatever gets me the promotion to Archmage. So, I think I might do that, actually. We might skip going to Eel Infested Island, or Eel Infested Waters for a while. Because I really don't have anything to get there except, uh, you know, the obelisk, a few chests, and I guess um, Excalibur, but I don't really need that right now. I think I'm going to, while I have these, well, no, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to Blackshire. How you doing? And I'm going to get my stuff. I need Armageddon. Might as well get it now. But I'm not going to pay a lot for it, that's for sure. So I, I have Merchant. Greetings. And we got these guys boosting my Merchant ability. So I think we're good. I'm just going to wait it out, I think. We don't have anything else to do, so I'll just, just wait it out here. Oh, wait, I need... <laughs> yeah, I need... Um, man. Being level 1 is uh, crappy. No spell points. Greetings. Thank yeah. you. We need the membership Greetings. first. Thank you. And I don't know if I'm going to do this anytime soon. Greetings. I might as well. I'm probably going to. Yeah. I'm going to get to all those places at some point, so I might as well do that. 
the reward for that isn't too bad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wait two, hour, two hours. Yep. Dark, the magic of evil. I, I love how he says that. That is so cool. There's Armageddon. Really, all I need right now is Armageddon. I only need it on one character. Finger, Death, Shrinking Ray, Reanimate. Yeah, that's all too expensive in my opinion. I might get Reanimate Shrap Metal. That might come in handy, maybe. Dragon Breath, no. Oh, what? No. I don't need it uh, on anybody else, actually. Okay. Good Just girl. this guy. Okay, okay, so now I have Armageddon on this guy, so we have that option open now. And now, let's see here, what's on my list? I need to do some quests probably while I have a little bit of time left. Nomination from Chadwick, repair the temple, yes, yes, yes. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do the Prince of Thieves thing. Uh, repair the temple would be fine. Uh, chalice from the temple, yeah, okay. We could do that in Boot Lake Bay, drink from the fountain in winter, nope. We don't want to do that, okay. All right, cool. So we're heading at a fairly good clip. I'm actually going to take a break right now and kind of reorganize. <laughs>